Welcome back to a new video. Today we will be talking about how to get workshop maps on Rocket League. So, let's get into it. The first step is obviously to have backers mod. This tutorial is mainly for people who's already got backers mod. But if you don't, there will be other videos on how to do that. But for this video, let's get into it. So the first thing you need to do is click on backers mod. So when you click on it, you need to go into file, open backers mod file. And then if you don't already have one that like you're most likely not, so this is the next step. You need to go to new folder. And then when you've made a new folder, you clear the name, you put workshop, maps and then when you've got that in you need to open the file and then you click on this little bar here not on the name you click here and then this will come up you press Control c and then you can just close that down and then the next step is to load up rocket league with the backers mod here do not close this down so when you've loaded up Rocket League, we'll go on to the next step. So once you're on the Rocket League screen, you need to go on to the main menu. You press F2, you go on to plugins. And then you press open plugin manager, you click install from backers plugin. And then when you're on the screen, you need to go on to top plugins this, it should be there but if it's not you need to type up this exact thing you click on it close if you get that and then install with backers mod when you've installed it you need to go back on rocket league you close this down and then workshop map loader you press on that you go into open plugin window and then that thing that you copied earlier you need to copy it onto this now so you press ctrl v and then remember to put a forward slash if you do not do the step you will not be able to do anything and then you and then you go on to search workshop um and then you type in whatever workshop you want so for this video i'm going to use rings so I'm going to type up rings, you have to press search and then the one that I use is ring speed jump 3. So I use this one but you can also use the timer one. So either one's good, whatever one you want to do, you press standard map, click on this and press yes and then it will restart your game. Uh, you should be just able to just click straight back on Rocket League uh, as soon as it's done updating. And then when you're on, you need to go on to Map Loader. You press Refresh Maps. Um, you can do this. I just choose not to because, yeah. Uh, close. And then go on to Speed Jump Rings 3. And then that's your tutorial done. 